Special Olympics has provided competition and training for athletes with intellectual disabilities for decades. Today, local athletes gathered for a unique event that showcased a number of their talents. NBC 15's Meredith Barrett reports. Rachel and I already biked today, and then we have a few people swimming, and we also have a few people running on the treadmills. This isn't your average triathlon. Well, we have over 50 people here, both as individuals or competing as part of a unified team. It's a way for people with or without disabilities to come together to train and compete. There are traditional sports that our athletes compete in, but we were looking at the overall fitness component, and a lot of athletes would compete in a basketball tournament, but then sit around in between games. So this was a way to get our athletes off the couch and actually training for something that they can do indoors during the winter. The triathlon also served as a way for many to showcase their talents to not only themselves, but their families and to the community. Pretty amazing what some of our athletes can do once people give them a chance. And while all these athletes walked away with an award, it's the sense of pride that tops any of these trophies. And when we offer awards, Sometimes it's not even getting the awards, it's just the ability to show what they can do and be so proud of their achievements that make these competitions so special. I'm Meredith Barrick for NBC 15. And Don says he hopes to see even more participants at next year's triathlon and would eventually like to start hosting a summertime triathlon as well. Well, not exactly feeling like summertime out there.